go. Yeah, beauty. We've got another one on. We've just been sailing along this morning, and the fish love the sailing boat. He's gone underneath the boat, but we've just heaved two, and we'll get him up. This is on the gold bomber. And I didn't think we had a chance of actually catching him on a gold bomber, but we just trawled across the top of a, a bomber in before. And, uh, oh, good one. fish but uh, but I'll leave John pull the hook out in just a minute <laughs> but a good fighter though good fun coming in and sharks chasing him. We gotta get him up before the shark gets him. Oh, nearly got him. Nearly got him. Hey. 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 hey! hey! Now what a what a effort! Hey! There was two sharks chasing that mackerel up. We only just got him on the boat uh, right there. Um, so the mackerel stuffed, I'm stuffed, but uh, but we got him and we got uh, we got another mackerel for dinner. <laughs> That's a good one. Hang on, I'll hold him up. There we go. Alright. What a fish. And on the gold bomber. I take back everything I said about it. <laughs> it does catch fish. I'm just going to take two fillets off him and because we don't have any refrigeration I'm going to uh, uh, put them in a, in a bag, keep them wet, keep them moist and keep them cool. So um, uh, just a bit of a bush fridge until the night. But anyway, I've already, I've already bled him so I just cut across his neck straight away and bled him into the, into the middle there. And, um, and, uh, and that just keeps your meat clean. And now I'm just going to take these fillets off. I'm not going to be real, uh, real fussy about the fillets because there's, there's only two of us for dinner tonight. But mackerel make straight, straight, straight fillets because they don't have a lot of bones in them. And this knife's a really sharp knife. Rough 
you could dry some out and make numbers, Pete. <laughs> Look at that. All Bring it over in the shade, mate. Pete. In the shade. All good white meat. The one row of bones down the middle, which we'll cut out. And then if you bake it, the skin will come off nice when you bake it. Uh, but otherwise you can steak it or cut fillets off it. And that's what's left of the fish. Pretty good considering I'm on the boat, rocking around and I don't have a flat surface to fill it on, but uh, now we'll chuck the rest of that back in for the shark stack. Beauty. Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Now yeah, that mackerel we just caught, we're going to cook him up on deck here because we've got a nice nice sunny day, not too much swell. So, um, and it's too hot in the cabins to, to actually light a fire and cook. So, uh, we've got a good bit of weather. That sharp knife that I used to fillet the fish with, beautiful. You've got to buy one of these and put it at home in your drawer, all right, just for cutting tomatoes. Look at how sharp that is. Slopping around on the boat and just slice through. Got to be careful with your fingers, eh? It's bloody sharp. <laughs> now, I bet most women would be jealous of a knife like that. Yeah. So I'm going to chuck the fish in, some tomato, some soy sauce, some rice, a bit of pepper. Uh, we should have a good feed. Beautiful. Alright, now we put all that in the pot. I just got the rice to chuck in later. But have a look at how it's going. Bloody beautiful. All right? Bit of balsamic vinegar, uh, soy sauce, Worcestershire, pepper, tomato. The last tomato we got. But that's going to make a great topping on some rice. Ah, uh, Pete, thank you very much. It's good, good fish. Mmm. Mm. It's the best meal you ever had? Yep. <laughs> there you go, Clarissa. Hi, <laughs> Annie. <laughs> oh, look around, it's beautiful. Beautiful day, beautiful mm. fish. Yep, yep. Where's the dolphin now?
but we've been having lots of fun and I don't know whether we might sail all night tonight and see how far into the Arafura Sea we get and then uh, heading towards the coast so it'll uh, be up to John he's the skipper and we'll see how we go well, we're heading out to the Arafura Sea there's a lot of current out there and I just don't know how it will go uh, this is the longest stretch we've got of open sea in the whole journey and uh, there's not going to be much cover for about 150 miles uh, we might be able to scoot back into the coast but it just depends on the wind and we've only got two drums of fuel left and we've still got that broken rudder uh, and we're still taking water on the back corner every time we get a wave over that back corner there it's still cracked and obviously we can't do much about that but hopefully it doesn't break uh, the rudder's broken and yesterday we hit the the, the other rudder because rudder on each side of the catamaran we hit the other rudder on the ground coming in and that scared us because we uh, if we break that one then we're really in trouble you can't sail a ship without a rudder so we'll we'll just see how we go but um, uh, John's got it all under control I hope and as long as we as long as we don't have any worse weather than this we should be right John's had us sailing all night, uh, he did a top job, sailed us all the way out to sea past some shoals and kept us away from land and away from the rocks and that because there's a lot of rocks on the, on the coastline, uh, safer place to sail at night and uh, now we're tacking back in, hopefully we can find a place that we can anchor up and have some sleep. If you want to know the definition of sleep degradation, I'll show you John in a minute. He, uh, uh, yesterday morning we got up at uh, 5.30, uh, started sailing at 6 and it's now uh, 8.30 in the morning the next day and he's still sailing. He had about an hour's sleep in between while I, while I took the watch but uh, I'm the cook not the sailor, not the skipper so he's been doing a top job. Yeah, yeah. So where are we sailing to today skipper? Land. Any land. <laughs> Hopefully further east than when we left. <laughs> and how was dinner last night? Dinner was great. <laughs> you gotta love those diet meals, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Point the camera. Oh, sorry. Over here. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Uh, uh, Alright. Yeah, it's more of, if we can get a shot of it. Oh, actually, I'll come over. That way you can grab my legs as I'm going over. Drag me along the behind like a big spoon lure. We decided not to eat our crab the other day because we just had a big big feed of mackerel and so um, we put the crab in the bucket and we're going to eat it when we get into a nice calm place up here but uh, to keep him alive he'll stay alive in there for quite quite a while uh, at least two or three days um, but you just got to keep a wet a wet rag over the top and not put too much water in the bucket because they, they'll drown if you put too much water in the bucket. Alright, now give us a thumbs up. Give us a nod. Do the nod again. 
big and all. Yeah, they're shaking again. <laughs>